Tony, we're at one of your big customers, uh, First Precision Carbide Limited in Kent. Now, you guys have sold over 2,000 machines uh, in the UK. Why are Sonic Machines that good? Uh, basic reason is I think we've got a technological advantage over the competition at the moment. For the last, it must be 12 years now, we've been linear drives um, on all machines, um, be it entry level, be it premium level, be it Miller machines, EDM, Dysync. So I think it's given us a massive advantage in performance, reliability. We also got a big advantage, I think, in service and backup in here in the UK. A big employed self-service team, which you know react very quickly. We have a, we haven't changed our prices on our service now for in the 10 years I've been with the company, certainly. I think it gives a big security to the customers that they buy a product, they've always got somebody they can speak to, somebody they can access, and if they hit a problem, they're gonna get um, very quick service from the service department as well. When you look back into 2017, what are the successful stories, would you say, from that period of time? Um, we had a good year in 2017, despite us starting the year nervously with the Brexit, etc. but generally people have just gone on with it, I think, as Brits do, I feel. We just go on with it, really. But yes, we've had a good year. Brexit's still been in the background. People have been nervous, but they've still been very busy. Manufacturing in the UK, I think, is very strong, has been strong, it looks strong in the future. The people who've been exporting, obviously, had the advantage of the euro being weak. It's cost us, obviously, in fact, buying machines in, but people like First, for example, he exports to Europe, he exports to South America, he understands he gets a big advantage when selling, so the disadvantage if you buy stuff in. So, and people are quite happy with that and satisfied with that. And I think generally people are, are now settling down into the Brexit. I don't think it's a lot gonna change, and I think that's the opinion people are giving us, basically. And when you look into 2018, obviously marketing's a big part of what you guys do. So you've got a big stand at Mac. Is there something new that uh, engineers should come and visit your stand for? Yeah, they should. They should come and see the new ALC, although we launched it last year. It's a major step forward. Uh, we think it's a sexy looking machine. It's fully enclosed, meets all the latest CE regulations. On top of that, we're going to have a high-end die sinker with automation for the first time um, on the stand. Um, so I think it's a, it's a big innovation for us. We're developing in partnership with an automation company. And I think it'd be a good, it'd be a good stand for us to be on. And hopefully it'll be busy. And I think timing is very good in the UK as well. And when you look into 2018, 2019, do you see a positive spin still? Yeah, I do. I think people are still, they're in our universe, but oil and gas is coming back into play now. Um, a couple of my customers are in oil and gas and they're seeing inquiries back in. That, that died off badly, but that's coming back in the marketplace. Yeah, we're, we started the year positively with lots of inquiries in and actually spread quite a bit across the marketplace. There's, I can't say a certain sector is busy or not busy. Medical's busy, aerospace is busy. You know, general manufacturing, you know, like Peter here at first, he's exporting to specialist companies and they're busy as well and they're happy to pay the money and, you know, it's all good news, I think, to be honest with you, and positive news. So overall, 2017 into 2018, real positive spin for Soditech in the UK. Obviously, those engineers who are looking to buy a new EDM, whether it's a die sinker or a wire, should come and see you at Mac. Thanks very much for your time, Tony. Sorry, you're welcome. Thanks for your time.